Hey everybody, I hope you don't start leaning. Joanna back here is making coffee and the, don't put the electrical part in the water, okay? Because that's bad news. And my grandmother's old coffee maker. We love it. I'm telling you, the coffee tasted so much better in that thing. I like the Keurig. It has its place, but so does an old coffee maker. So that's what she's doing. And so I was telling her to put extra grounds on top of the grounds we used this morning and um, reuse those grounds, but she didn't understand. So she, she dumped them and had to start all over, but that's okay. Let's see. Yep, that looks like a good amount of water. So just put that little per percolator thing in. That's a percolator coffee maker, by the way. Although it doesn't perk, you don't hear it like that. Is that a percolator? Yeah. It has the little glass lid. Ooh, you're leaning. Little glass lid on the top, which is really fun to watch whenever it starts. Anyway, so I was going to share with you, if I can get you to quit leaning. All right, never mind the mess behind me. I'm doing chores today. I've cleaned out the refrigerator. Joanna helped in the kitchen some today. Bethany did too. She took out some scraps when I cleaned the fridge. Stay. And so, I cleaned out both refrigerators because we have two. And so those are done. And it's a good day because it's cooled off a bit to where we actually was able to open the windows. And we have the back door open so the air is blowing in. We have the screen door shut, so it's okay. We actually have a, I'm moving ya, isn't this crazy? We have a, a mud room right there that has our pantry in it behind this tea pitcher right here. And that door is open. But it's okay because we have a screen door right here at the mudroom. Whoa. And that lets the air in. And as long as the dogs don't try to eat up all of our groceries in the pantry room or the mudroom, we'll be okay. Everything's locked away pretty much, so I think we're good. So, you're leaning. Um, I got that done and some laundry. And so what else do I have to do? Dust and clean the glass in the living room and vacuum, sweep the front porch, do the bathrooms. I allotted 25 minutes. See, I allot time for each thing. Like the, the refrigerators, I allotted 30 minutes and it took exactly 30 minutes. The living room, I allotted 15 minutes to dust it, to clean any glass in there, and to vacuum. I'm guessing five minutes each. We'll see. And then, let's see, we have sweep the front porch. Man, why won't you stay? Okay. And so I have allotted 10 minutes for that, 25 minutes for the bathrooms, and I have a dump run. Samuel just left with the trash, so I don't have to take that. Um, I need to, okay, I put an hour to fold and put away laundry. I've done about 30 minutes worth, so I've got another 30 minutes worth. And to rotate the laundry, I'm wanting to do six loads today. I better get on the ball, because I've only done two. And it's 320. So, 30 minutes to rotate six loads of laundry. That would give you five minutes each load. Anyway, cooking 30 minutes. I'm doing that tater tot casserole. I don't like tater tot casserole, but I'm doing it anyway because the family likes it. Speaking of menu, okay, so that's what I'm doing today. And there was something else. I, oh, the onions behind me. I have got to, I'm going to chop those up and freeze most of them. Keep some in the fridge 
put the rest in the freezer because there's one and I've squeezed all of them. I can't figure out who's the culprit, but one of them is smelling. So I want to get rid of that onion smell in here. As far as the menu, I have tater tot casserole for tonight. And I don't know. I might do some California vegetables to go with that. And I have for, oh, I need to make tuna casserole too, because I have that for lunch tomorrow, and I like for it to sit in the fridge and blend. And then, you know, a few weeks back, or maybe you don't know, I don't know if I had it on video. A few weeks back, I bought some scallops at Lidl. Tell you what, Lidl's a lifesaver. We would never be eating scallops unless somebody gave it to us as a gift. Um, so I have three bags of that because they were really cheap. Then I bought three or four bags of shrimp at Lidl this past week. Did I tell y'all about that last night? I don't know if I went down the list with that one, but yeah, I did. So, we were talking about grilling tomorrow. Oh, and, sh and chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. I need to lay out uh, some chicken. Grilling some chicken, shrimp, and scallops. And then Jesse said, have that with pasta. That's a good idea, Jesse. And so, yay, Jesse. So, we'll have that. I'll probably do like a butter sauce like a brown butter sauce and have the chicken and shrimp and scallops with pasta. So Sunday, I have down here to do chicken legs. I could probably do a broccoli casserole because I have some frozen broccoli. And mashed potatoes. We had that last Sunday, so it might be too early for that. Corn. That's a good grain, good starch. So yeah, I could see that. Chicken legs, broccoli casserole, and corn. That'll probably be what that is. I have over here a cabbage, or, or a later list that I would like to make later. Cabbage casserole, pot roast, barbecue pork chops, or do the, um, what's that called? What is it called? Uh, I can't think of what. Shake and bake. Shake and bake pork chops. And then ham. I'm wanting a ham. I don't care if it's the holidays or not. So then Monday, I did have down spaghetti bake. That's before Jesse said to serve pasta with the grilled food. So I'm going to change that. I have some potatoes over here in the little vegetable thing. So I might, I can do a potato soup there because, I'll tell you why. Because I have those potatoes and I have some sausage that's going to, the, the date runs out on the first, breakfast sausage. So I like to put breakfast sausage in our potato soup. So I'm going to write down here for Monday, potato soup. That's our first day of school. So that'll be something fairly simple to do. And it will help get rid of these potatoes before they sprout. Potato soup. Now, tomorrow morning, as you saw on the menu, I have a farmer's breakfast. I could take that other roll of breakfast sausage. Brown it up, make some milk gravy, some sausage gravy, and serve it over biscuits with eggs. I do have some bacon to use too. What's going on? Okay. Um, make sure that the plug is pushed in all the way. Okay, slide that to. Oh, right there is one. Make sure this is pushed in all the way. Try to plug it in again. We'll see what happens. And just wait 
because it might take a minute. So, um, potato soup on Monday, chicken and dumplings on Tuesday. I have a whole chicken in the freezer, and that's one thing I can do with one whole chicken that will serve our whole family. And I'll do that in the pressure cooker. Take it out, let it cool a bit, shred it up. And then I use tortillas, flour tortillas. Cut those up, put it back in the broth. You might have to add some more water, whatever. Put the shredded chicken in there. And then I like to add a can of cream of chicken soup. Basically, you could add some flour to it, the broth, and then it would do the same thing. But I add a can of cream of chicken. Yummy, yummy, yummy. If you like canned sweet so you chicken and dumplings, then you would like that. It tastes just like it. Um, green beans, probably with that. I could see doing green beans. Wednesday, hopefully leftovers because we have school. Hmm. Yeah. We have the dentist that day for Joanna. She doesn't have a filling, I mean a cavity, but they're going to coat her tooth because some of our children have deeply pitted teeth. They don't want it to be an environment for future cavities. So they like, they're either going to put a sealant on it or something to coat it. Then on Thursday, I have down chicken tacos. I want to, another thing I want to do is get the, um, I have a bag of black beans, pre-cook those. I love to have those in the freezer. So I will put those in the pressure cooker, separate them out, and black beans will be for this meal. I have chicken tacos. That would be like taco flavored chicken, black beans, corn, salsa, shredded cheese, sour cream, um, chopped onion and Spanish rice. So I'm going to need to write down to write that down real quick. Cook. I'll do that on Wednesday. Cook black beans and freeze. And then Friday shepherd's pie. I have that in the freezer and so I'll just take that out, let it thaw, add some mashed potatoes to it on top and bake it in the oven. That'll be easy. And that's when Brittany and Mark come in that night. So that'll be something really easy so I can do last minute work here to get ready for them. And then Saturday I have down here steak or seafood. As you know, if you watched my last video, we're going shopping on Friday, which is the 31st, but it doesn't count until the 1st. And so I have here to buy some hash that day at the local barbecue place. So on Sunday, we'll have barbecue because if you saw prior video shopping, I bought a bunch of little pork butts to cook and shred. And so we'll have barbecue, rice and hash, and baked beans on Sunday. I think that's as far as I have gotten so far. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that takes us through over a week. So that is what's going on with that. I went through the cookbook some to find things. Is it doing anything? Oh, good, good. Just let it do its thing. It'll stop when it's done. You see it perking yet? Oh, good, good, good. It's working still. And so that is what's going on with that. Like I said, we're enjoying the windows and doors being open. I'm cleaning. And so I've got to get the other helpers in here to help with the kitchen because it is a little messy. We have a lot of dishes in the sink, not dishwasher dishes, but dishes to be washed by hand, like pots and pans. So that has to be done. And it's Friday, hallelujah. So I guess that's all I was going to share with you.
So my little tip for the day is, if you don't have Jesus, get Jesus. What, I mean, it's the best thing that you'll ever do. Promise, it's the best thing that you'll ever do. So, um, best decision you'll ever make. So that is my tip for the day. And I'm gonna go, I'm going to work some more. Last weekday before school starts on Monday, it's time to get my act together. Ready or not, here we come on Monday, right? So I don't know, I might share a day of school with you to let you know how things are going. I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't know if the first day of school is gonna be a good idea to do that in, cause um, I'm gonna have a lot of glitches, I'm sure. But anyway, I hope that you have a good weekend and we'll talk to you soon, bye.